Now we need to make decimal number bonds to 1. So 0 0.891 plus what equals 1? What I like to do is take the decimal and then count on. So if we take 0 0.891 and add 0 0.009 so 9 thousandths that takes us to 0 0.900 just as 891 plus 9 is 900. Now we don't need zeros on the end of decimals but from 0 0.9 if we add 0 0.1 so 1 tenth that takes us to 1.0 which is the same as one whole. So altogether we added 9 thousandths and 1 tenth so we added 0 0.109 to make one whole. Now we start with 0 0.277. If we add 0 0.003 so 3 thousandths that gives us 0 0.280 just as 277 plus 3 equals 280. But because we have 0 0.280 we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. But now from 0 0.28 we can add 0 0.2 so 2 hundredths to make 0 0.30 just as 28 plus 2 is 30. We don't need zeros on the end of decimals but now from 0 0.3 we can add 0 0.7 to make one whole. So altogether we added 3 thousandths then 2 hundredths then 7 tenths so our missing number bond is 0 0.723. As well as counting on the other method would have been to use column subtraction because whenever we have a missing number addition we can use subtraction to find the missing number. But it's important that we remember to write the zero ones that we have in our decimal below the one whole so that our place values are lined up. Now 1 is the same as 1.000 because we can always write a decimal point and then zeros on the end of a whole number because all these zeros tell us is that we don't have any tenths, hundredths or thousandths in the number 1. Now we copy down the decimal point into our answer. We can't do 0 minus 1 using the column method and when we go to the left we have a 0 and another 0. So we go all the way over to the 1, exchange it for 10 tenths, then exchange one of those tenths for 10 hundredths and exchange one of those hundredths for 10 thousandths. Now 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 8 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0. So we get the answer. We get the missing number bond to one whole. For this question we could do 1 minus 0 0.277. 1 is the same as 1.000. We copy down the decimal point. We can't do 0 minus 7 so we go all the way over to the one whole exchange, exchange again and again and now 10 minus 7 is 3, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7, 0 minus 0 is 0. So we get the same answer 0 0.723. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.